Yield to maturity. Technically, the yield to maturity is the single interest rate that can be used to discount future cash flows to get the price. It's a forward-looking measure and as such is not a guarantee of return. In fact, amongst the many definitions of yield to maturity that you might find in the many standard bond math textbooks, my favourite generally does not appear. And that is, the yield to maturity is the single interest rate which, if you buy the bond and hold it to maturity, you almost certainly will not earn. Why is that? Well, the return that's actually earned on the bond, if held to maturity, is driven by the amount of money the investor ends up with at the end. And that, in turn, depends on what the investor does with the coupons along the way. If they just leave them in cash, earning nothing, then the return will end up a lot lower than the yield. But if they reinvest them and interest rates have risen significantly, then the return earned could be much higher than the yield. So if yield isn't return, why is it any use? Well, if you, as the junior research analyst in fixed income, choose the higher yielding bond, you would, all else being equal, expect to earn a higher return. So one of the best uses of yield is as a measure of value, including, as per our example here, relative value.